Parents of Reddit, what was your oh god, I've raised a monster moment? When my son decided, in the grocery store parking lot, that it would be fun to scream, you're not my mommy. Where's my mommy? You're not my real mom. He had this evil smirk on his face, as I panicked and tried to explain what could happen if someone heard that, he started yelling it louder. Years ago, my wife and I had a very heated argument. Our daughter overhears us and comes into the room just as things hit their peak. My wife rushes into the bathroom crying. I'm left sitting on the bed feeling low, listening to my wife sob on the other side of the door. Our daughter looks up at me with a smile and says mommy's crying and proceeds to laugh loud enough for mom to hear. And with that, I was in trouble for something entirely new. When our 13 year old decided to steal $200, that was hidden in my desk one week before Christmas. He then spent it all in one day on candy, and yelled at us for confiscating what was left of it. He also told us it was our fault for leaving money in the house. To confirm that he is horrible person, he told his mum that he doesn't like seeing anyone else happy which is why he broke his one year old brother's things. Not me but my parents. My brother was always the naughty one. Sharp lifting as a kid, mouthing off at school, etc. But I think when they realized he was a genuinely bad person, was when he stole a bunch of stuff out of some old guy's cabin, and then burned it down so he wouldn't get caught. Spoiler alert. He got caught anyways because he pawned it all at our local pawn shop and they had his name and caught him on camera. My dad told me when we were driving once, I was in the back and was trying to climb through to the front. He pushed me back to my seat. I was maybe 6-7 and apparently said, when you're all old and weak I'm going to chuck you about. Chip I'm gonna come at you like a spider monkey. I have two sons. One is 11 and the other 7. The 7 year old is, special. Highly intelligent and very social. But also does a lot of deep thinking. Early one Sunday morning he came up to me, out of the blue, and said. Dad, how do ducks work? I was all how to what? What? Ducks? Huh. In a half sleep state. Before I could work out what he wanted to know he said, I guess if I open one up, I'll find out. And walked away. Honestly spent a good hour looking for ducks and watched him carefully when he went near the kitchen utensils. When my sons were 12 and 13, the older one stole $600 from my wife and I. He gave the younger one half. When they were caught and everything was said and done. The younger son told us that we didn't have the right to take his money from him, because he didn't steal it. That was when I knew. Now ages 19 and 20, the older son has long grown out of it. The younger one has never stopped stealing and lying. Before moving out, he told me that he has always resented me for locking things up and, I'm quoting him here, not letting me take whatever I want from you. It amazes me. Because we raised all four of our kids the same way and the other two have always been good kids and kind hearted. Oh well. Had a neighborhood kid babysitting for my little ones after school. She had some other kids over who got into the liquor cabinet. We told her divorced mom who very indignantly told us we were lying. About a month later her dad comes to the house with a bottle of curse alcohol used for cooking fondue, a couple cheap gold necklaces from my wife, a spare key to our house and an old checkbook from a closed bank account. He apologized profusely and I remember him saying, I never thought my kid would be the bad kid in the neighborhood, it was painful to see. My kid was 12 at the time, we were driving their friend home after a sleepover. They were taking turns roasting each other in the back seat. Then my kid says, your parents probably knew you would stutter, that's why they named you Aaron. Yes, he did have a stuttering problem. When I watched my younger son walk out on the porch, pick up a plastic wiffle bat, look at it, look at his older brother sitting on the porch steps, look back at the bat, and then haul back and crack his brother's head like Babe Ruth popping one out of the park. I could watch his thought process in 5 seconds time, bat, brother, bat, hit, no hesitation. Not a parent, but an older brother of a young sibling. He poured paint thinner all over my mom's flowers one summer after my dad accidentally left it on the deck. We were repainting the deck. More happy that he didn't drink it but it was definitely an oh my god moment. She probably spends 100 hours plus and a lot of money gardening every spring summer so it was a big deal. Oh man. Too many to list. 
The most recent is when my son shot me with his nerf gun directly in my eyeball. My eye still hurts a week later. A couple of weeks ago, my other son pooped on the floor, he's three, and put a donut on top of it to hide it. Well I meant the idea behind the donut is cute, but I can imagine this covering that. When my son blithely told me he wants to play the documentary under the curve for his classmates because he is trying to convince them the world is flat. He admits he knows it is not, but he is trying, actively, to con them into thinking it is. Lol your son is an agent of chaos. He's like a dog chasing cars. When my son was 13 or 14, we were chatting about how as kids get older, and parents become elderly, often the kids become a caregiver to some degree to the parent. My son offhandedly remarked that he'd be looking for the cheapest nursing home at which to park me. Skin flint bastard. Today, my 3 year old dipped her cantle up in ketchup and ate a whole plate of it. Actually gasped and recoiled. My 6 year old has always had weird interests. She asked me to show her pictures of what's in our bodies. I showed her diagrams on Google, and she said, no, I mean inside of a real body. Like a dead person. I showed her some random picture of an arm surgery and she was begging for more. Also she always asks me to stop so she can look at dead animals on the road. When my childhood dog died, she tried to sneak and look inside the bag while I was bawling. We're really pushing for the medical field and not a serial killer field. Edit, I feel as though I need to add this to the original comment. She has never shown any signs of aggression or desire to hurt people animals. She is a very sweet child and doesn't even like it when we kill bugs or cut down the weeds in our yard. She shows respect for life, but is definitely interested in bodies. I'm not sure she understands what death is or what it means yet lol. I am a science teacher and my wife is a nurse, so we definitely encourage her interest in science. We had our young cat fixed and she just slept and rested all day after coming back from the vets. My 11 years old son asked very concerned, after watching the cat lying around all day, do you think she is sad because she can't have babies? Or, so sweet. My 7 years old son asked, so, if she doesn't recover, would we get a cash settlement? My brother-in-law is a monster. He used to be so sweet, but over the last 2 years he has stolen 4 cars. He has been brought home by the cops 3-4 times. Once he stole $100 from my mother-in-law. She called him and asked where it was. He claimed he didn't know. He but dialed her right after and she clearly heard him bragging to his friends that he had stolen the money and that she was so dumb for believing him. The list goes on. These people are the most beautiful humble people I have ever met. I don't understand how this boy came to be. Before my son could crawl he learned how to climb the extra tall baby gate. Before he could walk he climbed the windowsill. Before he could run he climbed the bunk bed. Before he could open an applesauce container he learned how to unlock the front door. I'm not sure what moment made me think yep. He's a monster. It might have been when I almost witnessed Harambi too. I ducked down for 10 seconds to tie his sister's shoe and when I looked up he had one leg over the barrier ready to go say hello. He's too by the way. Or it might have been when I resigned myself to the leash. I brought it home, prepared for the protests. Instead he declared himself a puppy dog, made his siblings play police with him for 2 hours while he sniffed out the bad guys then gleefully showed me how easy it was for him to take the damn thing off. I give up guys. While potty training my 2 years old, she figured out she could pee a little, get a chocolate chip as a reward, then wait 2 minutes, go pee again and get more chocolate. She's gaming my system at 2 years old. Teaching my kid the value of money, we'd give her tuck shop snack money in the day and we later found out she was just giving it away not understanding the value of money at all. A few long deep conversations where I hate to admit I became a capitalist poster boy later and she starts to understand that money has a value, how hard it can be to get and that it's even harder to keep. Fast forward a few weeks later, we run out of milk and I only have my card and no cash on me, plus our local shop will only now accept card purchases over £10 so I figure I'll ask my darling angel little girl if I can borrow £1 for milk and put it back tomorrow. No. No you can't have my money daddy. I earned it and you need to learn responsibility that money doesn't just fall from the sky and you can't just go around giving everything away as pretty soon you'll have nothing. I suck at parenting. 
My 5 and 10 year old were having an epic verbal war in the living room which ended abruptly after I shouted various generic parenting noises in their direction. My 5 year old son then walked confidently into the kitchen, took a picture of his brother off the fridge proceeded to dispose of it in the bin. Utterly asshole behavior of course but honestly I was secretly extremely impressed with his top passive aggression. My son's 13. Hates pizza. Likes Nickelback. Likes the Patriots. If he was on Facebook I'd unfriend him.